Hello everyone and welcome to this quick tip from BlenderCookie.com. My name is Jonathan Williamson and today I want to show you a very useful little add-on anytime that you want to copy attributes from one object to another or any number of other objects. So a perfect example is these two objects I have here. The one on the left has a series of modifiers on them, the one on the right does not. And yet they're the exact same mesh, so if you see this one here, fairly simple, and then there's this one here. So they're identical meshes, but one has modifiers and one does not. So if we just take a look at the one with modifiers, you can see what we have. There's just a bevel and a subdivision surface modifier, just making it really nice and crisp. So if I wanted to copy these modifiers over to this object, it's really not a big deal because I can simply select this one. I can go to modifiers, add a bevel, I can set the angle was something like 30, the width I think was one, the segments were three, and then I could also go ahead and add in a subdivision surface modifier and I'll set the shading to smooth. Okay, so this gives us basically a similar angle, although this one had optimal display and yeah, that looks pretty much the same. So, but what if we wanted to do something like this, where suddenly we have a lot of different objects that we want to copy really quickly. So we could go ahead and do it manually. And you know, this is not a big deal to do these, you know, it might take you five minutes to do all of these. But if you had even 100 objects, or perhaps rather than only having two modifiers, you have 10 modifiers on here, which is not all that uncommon, then it becomes really, really time consuming to copy all of these. So this is where the copy attributes add on comes in. So let's just go to our user preferences, go to the add ons, this is bundled with blender, and simply search for copy, you can see copy attributes. So we'll enable it, you can see any of the details about here. And it creates a hotkey just for control C. So what it does is you first select all the objects that you want to copy the attributes to. So we'll just select all of these, something like this. And then you select the cop the attributes that you want to copy from so you select so you select your master. So in this case, we'll just select this one hold while holding down shift. So that makes it active. And now we can just hit control C and it brings up our menu here. So you can see there's a lot of different things that we can copy. We can copy location, rotation, scale. We can copy the mass if you're doing a whole bunch of rigid bodies. So this becomes really useful if you've got a whole bunch of rigid body objects and you wanna just quickly copy some attributes from them. And in this case, the one that we wanna copy is the modifiers. So if we just click copy modifiers, give it a second and there we go. So now all of them have the same modifiers and more importantly, they have the exact same settings. So you can also do this to remove modifiers. So for example, let's just select this one. Let's go ahead and remove the modifiers from it. And then let's select all of these, noticing that I have my, my ground plane here is just disabled in the selection, so that's why I didn't select. And now I'll hit Control C once more, and I'll choose Copy Modifiers, and it removes all of them. So this can be really useful for those kinds of things, but let's go ahead and undo that. Let's bring our modifiers back, and let's look at one more thing. Something that we'll commonly do is change settings. So say I go ahead and adjust this side on here, maybe you know just for the sake of performance, maybe I don't wanna have this at two for the viewport. So I'll go ahead and change that. And maybe just for the sake of visualization, maybe I go ahead and turn on the wireframe option here. And I could even adjust the object color if I want it, although I believe, actually I don't know when that changes, but so we'll just leave that as is. So we can do, you know, any number of our display things here. And again, we want to copy it to all of our other objects. So let's just select all of these. I just hit B for my box select, hit control C. First, I'll copy the modifiers. So it copies the settings within those modifiers. So it actually basically removes the modifiers and then recopies them. But in this case, it effectively just changes the settings. And then we can also copy all the draw types. So we'll hit control C and choose copy draw options right here. And that way they all show up as wireframe. And you know, if you look again, you can see that there's a lot of different things that we can copy. Um, you know, everything from protected transforms to the constraints on an object. So this is really useful because otherwise you can't do that. Uh, you can copy vertex weights if you've got matching mesh data. So really, really useful add-on to copy. Um, the one thing to be aware of is that it does override the copy to buffer option. So for example, if we disable this really quick and I hit control C, you can see that we can copy the selection to the buffer. So this is actually allows us to copy uh, objects into our memory to then actually paste either within the same Blender version or to another instance of Blender. So for example, if I just hit Control C, copy this, and maybe I will jump to a new blank scene. So I'll just go to new and hit Control V, 
paste, then it's going to paste that object in in its original location. So this can be really, really useful. So just be aware that the copy attributes menu by default is going to override that. If you don't want it to override that, then you can simply go into your user preferences, first enable this, uh, then go into the input, and somewhere within the 3D view, probably 3D view global, there's going to be an option in here for control C that then is set to the the copy attributes menu. And if you just change that, or you change the copy buffer, then you'll be good to go. So that's it, a uh, fairly simple little add-on, but really, really useful. I know that within my own workflow, it saves an awful lot of time, you know, just copying between things like this. I think one of the most extreme cases of where it's really useful is anytime you're doing a rigid body simulation, you know, like a perfect example is if you're dropping, say, 10,000 cubes or, you know, even just 100 cubes into a bowl and you want those all to be, you know, breaking apart and doing all kinds of different things. If you suddenly realize that you wanted to change one setting on all of them, that's really cumbersome to do without this add-on. So really, really useful. Uh, definitely speeds up a lot of things in my own workflow and maybe it'll be useful for you.